So, yeah, this was uh, definitely a rare time to catch you back in Jersey. It's good to be but, here. But, uh, yeah, you want to talk about why you're back for a little bit? Yeah, it's uh, this week on Saturday, we are releasing this Vans collection, uh, NJ Skate Shop Times Vans. Um, and it is inspired and dedicated to our hometown of Sarahville, New Jersey. Um, the name, the town got its name from the Sarah and Fisher Brick Company. And a lot of people don't know this, but, you know, it produced like over 6 billion bricks. It was the largest brick manufacturer in the States mm. for, you know, from the 1800s until 1970. And from Richmond, Virginia to Richmond, Maine, these bricks built everything. Like the first time the World Trade Center um, got bombed, they were pulling Sarah and Fisher bricks out. The wow. World, like the Statue of Liberty base built with Sarah and Fisher bricks. Like That's crazy. the Empire State Building. Like these bricks have built everything. And as a skater, that sound of bricks is just very unique. The sound of wheels rolling is very unique, but goddamn when it's on bricks, it's like everybody can relate to that. And our bricks from this tiny little two road town built every single rad brick skate spot from richmond all the way up so when you skate the brooklyn banks that's really the jersey banks we built that shit and you know like the the afro banks in philly and the old hospital banks in boston all with sarah and fisher bricks from sarahville new jersey wow. and people don't know that story and so for us to get the opportunity with vans to tell that story and to let people know um, has been really special. So like there's three shoes, they're all brick embossed. And then there's like a photo book that's just all ill um, brick East Coast skate photos. Mm. And then on the same day, the shoe releases on the 20th, RBU Mali made like an insane seven minute edit for Thrasher that starts with Steve Caballero from Future Primitive and ends with Dick Rizzo from Quasi's mother video Damn. and covers 30 years of East Coast brick skateboarding. And it's insane. It starts with the Artifacts track, um, Brick City Kids, and it just goes. And um, I don't know, man, I, I just, I, I'm just really proud that we were given the opportunity. And, you know, my partner, Steve Leonardo, like really drove this thing home. Shout out Steve, Love man. Steve. Love and Steve. Like just, I don't know. It's dope, man, because it's like any skate crew that you meet anywhere feels that their scene is the most important scene in the world, you know, and, and they're not wrong because it's their scene, you know, and it's like you can go to Madagascar, you can go to Paris like that. They feel like their scene is the shit. And, you know, we used to skate a food town on Route 9 next to a porno theater next to a McDonald's. <laughs> and Everything like, you need. Dude, I remember us like making fun of people coming out of the porno theater when they were going to watch when Harry ate Sally and <laughs> like <laughs> that was our crew, you know, like our buddy Troy Jankowski and like so many other heads that like came out of that area, Shannon McFadden, rest in peace. And like we had a crew and like our little Cerval crew was inspired by those bricks. And here we are, you know, 30 odd years later 18 years as nj like getting the chance to tell the cerebral skate story so oh, um it really means a lot to us you know and like i can't like thank the people at vans for giving us the opportunity it's it's huge oh uh, thank you vans thank you dude for fucking putting on though because like i think especially growing up skating in jersey it was like it's cool to have a colorway that like well number one is officially like stamped like nj this is our ship but definitely when you think jersey it's like this shoe kind of it's everything like for sure like for sure. i think the the color what is based on with the brick all that it's like like you guys hit the nail on the head for sure man like because it's funny you talked about the sound of the brick because it's funny how your brain works if you're wired that way it's like when i looked at it i heard it too yeah yeah it's, yeah, man, it's, it's super like, dope i've like, got a recording of like seven minutes of only like wheels on brakes it's like white noise it's like it's beautiful yeah man I even like thought about times i've slammed on brick too like, yeah. like all the memories yeah they come back dude and uh i'm super fucking stoked on this and this will be available march 20th you said right yeah and then we've got two t-shirts that we're doing one is t eric monroe uh who like i said gave me my start it's a shout out t dot it's a red man t-shirt at this pizzeria we love it and little known fact red man 
and his partner Tariq own a skate shop. Redman is a skate shop owner in Staten Island. It's called Richmond Hood Company. And, you know, they blessed us with like, you know, using the photo and uh it's it's dope, man. So like, you know, obviously nobody represents Brick City more than Redman. So it was real dope to of course. Have that. And then um there's another one that's a photo from the eighties. Um it's like a, a Felix Arguez, another Jersey like legend, skating the Brooklyn Banks. And T. Eric Monroe is actually off to the side in that photo. Oh, and shit. like one of the most legendary designers, Ali Asha, he, uh, his mom took it. It's just like a mom snapshot. And it's just so ill. It's like a vertical photo of, uh, of the Brooklyn Banks and just a ton of kids. I think there's one kid sitting on the bridge. And then we just wrote underneath it, we built this city. Damn. Because Jersey built all that shit. Dude, fuck yeah, man. Yeah. All I right. Mean, I always say, man, it's like, dude, if we don't rep Jersey hard, n- literally nobody's going to back Jersey. So Nobody. it's our job to like over rep it. Yeah. And the fact that like, I hate that like the Jets and the Giants both like play and practice in Jersey, yet we don't have like a team. Yeah, like, I don't I would, even talk about the basketball team anymore. Like, people are like, hey, what do you think? And I was like, I never even heard of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, dude, you want to talk about like Steph Marbury and Sam Cassell and Jason Kidd? I, I'll talk to you. But like when they moved, when they moved, I never heard of him again. Nope. All right, guys.